Pill boys, I'll tell you one thing. If she's not thick, she's tin. We're gonna open a tin. It's a tin. It's a Pokemon card tin. Charm Lizard, the big boy himself, packed with Pokemon treasures. Three foil cards featuring Rillaboom, Cinder Ace, and Intellion. Intellion. Five booster packs and much more. Don't put the entire tin in your mouth, for God's sakes. You'll choke and die. Um, this is a very large tin. Um, I wanted to get this because uh, I've not done a tin before, and I wanted the tin. Maybe I'll put my lunch in it like a cool boy. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna open this. Let's maybe pull back a little bit. Cool. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna open this tin, and then we're gonna open what's inside it. Let's go. I hope you all enjoyed the pack versus pack video that went up earlier this week. I hope we had a lot of fun. Of course, I lost, but that's okay. If you haven't seen it yet, click the eye icon in the top right corner of your screen. Gubbins are gone. Now we can focus on what's actually in the tin. I've not done a tin before, so I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to seeing how they how they do these things. And uh, the big reveal, it just vomits all out. Look at that. Um, there's a code card, which is great for you guys. Here you go. Have a code. Y'all like the codes, right? Make sure in the comments below to let me know who, who used the code. Did you get it? Did somebody else get it? Did your dad get it? Did your mom get it? Did your brother get it? I'm not sure. Lucky, lucky to find out. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got our three promo cards right here. One fell out. It's okay. They are a bit curved, which is uh, unfortunate because they were in packaging, so they should be mint, but they're not anymore. But that's okay. We've got Intellion, which is very, very pretty. A nice holographic. We've got Rillaboom, which again, very nice, very holographic. And we've got Cinder Ace, which is also very, very cool, very holographic. Um, I'm not sure what set they're from. I recognize this symbol. I don't know if they're promos or if they're just part of a set. If they're part of a set, I mean, this is fantastic because I like having the starters. Those are always good. They will go in the binder for the appropriate set. Then on the inside of the tin, it looks like we got some big boys. Big stickers these are, so we'll we'll put these up in the background here um, with our energy cards, maybe just one of each, not to get over excited about it. What else do we have here? We've got two even bigger stickers of the big lads, so maybe we'll we'll put one in each of the corners or something, I don't know. And we've got more, just more stickers. We've got all these stickers here as well. We'll put one of each of these guys up on the background, because why not? And, you'll never guess, more stickers. Fantastic stuff, we love to see it. Sticking, sticking around. Thank you guys for sticking around. Oh, this is actually pretty neat. I didn't expect to see something like this. This ex this looks like it's a, uh, a notepad, which is really cool. Um, it's just got your three boys on it and a bit of paper. Maybe you can, you can do, your, do your doodles. You can become a doodle dude and do your doodles while you um, don't pay attention in class. Hell yeah, that's, that's really cool. That's a nice thing to have. And we've got this little, tiny little binder as well um, that I guess you can put um, your your promo codes in there something like that. I'm gonna crack it open. Yeah, all right Yeah, so it is kind of just like just for some promo codes and stuff like that. I do have some promo codes um, So what I'll do is maybe uh, at the end of a shorter video We'll load this bad boy up with some promo codes and then we'll go over what uh, what promo codes I what promo cards I have let me know if you want to see that that'd be fun. There's also I forgot that this was here. Um, I'm sorry. There is a Charmo lizard uh, Coin that goes with it as well heads or tails everybody. Oh his heads. Nailed it. And then the coup de grace is, of course, the five trading card packs that come with it. I didn't do any research, so I don't know what sets are in here, but let's take a look. We've got Vivid Voltage. We've got Vivid Voltage. We've got Sword and Sealed... So, Sword and Sealed. Yeah, that's what it is. Sword and Shield base set. We've got Burning Shadows. And we've got the Sun and Moon base set. So that's really cool. I really like Vivid Voltage. That's actually the pack... That's the set that we were on when we first started doing these videos, and I, I got pretty lucky. So I'm looking forward to these. Um, the Sun and Moon base sets and uh, the Burning Shadows, I've not done before. So let's uh, let's just shuffle these bad boys up like mad, like a madman, without like bending the cards or going too crazy, and then we'll go in order. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. I'm excited. I'm excited. New sets. New art. Art we've not seen before, or at least art we've not talked about before. 
We're gonna start off with a sword and shield base set. I record these videos all on Sunday, by the way, um, and I really needed this today. I was really looking uh, looking forward to opening some cards, so I'm, I'm ready for it. I don't know how these sets are set out, so we're just gonna try the three to the back strat and hope for the best and uh, and kind of see what we can get from from there. Um, I don't know codes either. Let me take a quick, quick look. Okay, I think the code is, yeah, okay. There's a code for you, everybody. Enjoy. Three to the back, I guess. Is this an energy? It is, okay, so we've got another fire energy. Good stuff, a hot commodity. Um, and uh, let's jump into this. It looks like, what did we just open? This is the, this is the Sword and Shield base set, which is the same symbol that the promo cards have. So I think that those are just the, uh, the three starters from this set. So that's fantastic. That means we have those three starters from the set, which is great. I don't know if you can pull them in uh, regular booster packs, but I'm sure you can. All right, we've got energy switch. We've got a Bisharp slicing through some trees. It feels like Bisharp is always slicing through something, isn't he? We've got Salazzle. That's really cool art. That's uh, that's almost, um, I don't want to say tie-dye. It's like it's like chalk art or something. It looks really cool. I'm, I'm here for it. We got Chin Chow. We got Crow Gunk. Um, just punching some gunk. Just having a great time. We got Glarian Meowth ready to claw my face or straight off. Who even needs a face when this thing is running at you? We got Score Bunny um, running around catching everything on fire, causing a havoc. We got, oh, hell yeah. We got ourselves a Sinistee, one of my favorite Sword and Shield Pokemon. I love Sinistee. Very, very good Pokemon. Very, very fun design. And it's T. Of course we love it. Galarian Linoon appears to be our reverse. I think I might have done this wrong. That's okay. Galarian Linoon, we're here for it. That's really, really cool. What's behind door number one? Oh, I did it right. We've got a holographic Berserker, which is cool. We've got a lot of evolutions. Um, nice. All right, cool. I'm here for it. Sword and Shield base set. Not too bad. Next up, we're going to do a Vivid Voltage with our pal Celebi on it. I believe this is where we got a bunch of amazing rares. Um, the last time we've done this, there are still a few that we don't have. So fingers crossed. Maybe we can get some amazing rares today. That would be pretty sick, fam. That would be pretty sick. And it's been a while since we've seen this art and stuff too. Crap, I looked at the back. My bad. Here's a code. Three to the front. Energy card. Wet fire again. We're getting, we're, we're hot today. We're hot today, pals. We are hot today. We've got an electric just hanging out. Weird looking fish eel thing. Never really liked electric, but uh, he's kind of a derpy fish. So we're here for it. We got Kakuna, just just chilling, just relaxing, just hanging out in a tree, man. We got Loudred, and this is my favorite artist, um, Miki Miki Kudo. I'll remember their name um, eventually. I still mean to do some more research on this artist because I love just how flat the art style is and how symmetrical it is. It is beautiful. I'm here for it. We got Pick a Peck, just looking out over the over the forest, uh, making sure everything is a okay. We've got Toodle. Not shiny, even though he's got little, little, little sparkles. He's just having a good time. We've got Riolu jumping in a puddle in the forest. Maybe like a magic wishing well. Ooh. We got Chimeco, the uh, cross stitch um, crochet, I believe it is. Crochet. Chimeco. We'd love to see it. Ninkada. Maybe digging out a little tunnel. Good stuff. We got a reverse is a Clefable. Again, looks like a kind of a, like a chalk drawing, which I like. It's very, very nice. And our rare on the back is going to be a Vaporeon. Cool. Not a holographic, which kind of sucks. What is this? Battle Styles? Going back now to the Sun and Moon base set with Incineroar on the front. Just ready to join Smash Brothers. He's going to beat the tar right on out of that old Mario brother. Or, or anybody else on the Smash Brothers roster. Who's your favorite character in Smash Brothers? And why is it? King DDD. There's a code for you, everybody. Have it. It's all yours. Just go ahead. Just go ahead and take it. Go for it. Three to the back. Then we've got Poison Barb. You leave Barb alone. I think I think Barb is a nice nice lady. You leave Barb alone. We've got Tora Cat. We've got another uh, another evolution for the starter, which is great. Good stuff. We love to see it. We got a potion. That sick burn that we just did on Barb, now we can heal it. It's all fine. We've got ourselves a Grubbin. I love Grubbin. One of my favorite Sun and Moon Pokemon for sure. He's uh, he's very, very good. He evolves into Charger Bug 
and Vicavolt. I actually like Charger Bug better than Vicavolt, but you know, that's fine. We got a Fero causing some tornadoes and some winds and some hurricanes. De a devastating wind, some might say. Makuita on a stroll through the, for the forest, jungle, looks more like a jungle. Just ready to sock a dude in the face. We got Shelder. I love Shelder. What a great design. With his flappy little tongue and his, his black blob of a body. Moving on. <clears throat> we got Toga Damaru, Roly Poly Oly. Eat small and smirk and round. Our reverse is a Shelder, which kind of sucks because we already got one, but that's okay. And I'm realizing I forgot to take the energy off the back of this card. That's okay. Our rare is going to be a Cloyster. All right. We got Shelter and Cloyster in the same hall. Again, not another uh, another not holographic or super special awesome fun card at the back. And we got our Steel Energy, of course. But this is okay. I'm enjoying looking at these uh, these older sets. Two packs left, and we've got a Burning Shadows. If you've seen Max Mofo, who was the inspiration behind me starting this channel in the first place, if you've seen Max Mofo, you know that he's opened up a lot of these packs, and he's looking for that mega rare um, Charizard. So. Maybe it's in here. Maybe we'll get it on our first try. Wouldn't that be great? What a video that would be if we could pull that off. That would be amazing. We'd have to send it to him. He would be furious. There we go. There's a code just for you. Three to the back. Energy is going to be a fairy energy. I think our first fairy energy, actually, on the back. So that's pretty cool. We'll take it. I love the design. It's very colorful. Nice, um, nice hot pink. And starting off with Burning Shadows, we've got Rhydon, the very first Pokemon. Fun fact. Isn't that interesting? And there's a Team Skull just hiding out in the background. That's pretty cool. We've got Electric again, but a different art style. This is the Uyama art style, which is fantastic. Another one of my favorite artists, my good friend Mel, um, is also a big fan of this art style. So anytime we see this art style, we were, uh, we're probably going to mention that. Um, love it. We've got a Boof Alant just charging through some stuff here. Has no time to wait for anybody or anything. We got a horsey, again, with this really nice char chalk style art. I really like that. And that's like a pretty, that's a pretty adorable horsey if you're gonna see one. We got a cutie fly, which is pretty great. Just hanging out in the, hanging out in the, in the wind, I guess. The fairy wind. I used cutie fly and rebombi um, when I first played through Sun and Moon. Ladybot kind of looks like she's made of clay. Um, maybe not, maybe be. Who knows? We'll see. Alolan Grimer looking incredibly realistic with the art here. Um, sludging his way along. Um, just mucking right up the, uh, the, the walkway, it looks like. Riolu, again, in that kind of art style with the chalk. Big, thick outlines, which I really like. I've always enjoyed big, thick outlines in my art styles. Uyama! We got another Uyama art style as well. I hope Uyama is still doing um, Pokemon art um, for the newer sets, because I don't I don't know if I've seen a lot. But we've got Inkei, of course, with the Uyama art style. We love to see it. That's two and one. And are we going to get that mega awesome Maximofo Charizard Massive Legend? Oh, no. Okay, no. <laughs> Not even a holographic. We're going to get a, just a regular old Electivire. And finishing off the video for today, we've got ourselves a Vivid Voltage, our final Vivid Voltage, Celebi on the front, from the tin, the Slither Scissors, and uh, crack this bad boy open and let's see what our last pack of the day is going to feature. Here's a code for you. I'm generous. Take it. Take it or leave it. Three to the back. Energy on the front. We've got a grass. I haven't seen grass in a while. We'll take it. I'm here for it. Speaking of grass, we've got a Nuzleaf with his nipples. Nipple alarm. We've got a wash energy. Get a wash by. Sometimes you just need a, need a bath, you know. Uh, wow. All right. Speaking of bath, here's one. You can get a bath right on in there. Do a do a, a swan dive, right into the bath. You dirty, dirty man. Speaking of dirty, dirty man, we've got a dirty, dirty cat. Um, and yes, Trubbish is a cat. I will fight anybody who says differently. I will not explain why. Look at him. He's adorable. We love him. Tynamo, watch out. He'll crawl right up your willy. If you pee, he'll go right up the stream. It's disgusting. It's an awful joke. We got to stop that. Clobopus, enjoying the beautiful sun, sun rays, sweating a little bit, protecting his flowers maybe. Just enjoying life, man. He's just having a great time. 
Also, just enjoying the sun. Re very ready for summer, Vivid Voltage is, and it's making me a bit jealous. Woobat is having a great time here. Maybe doing a little bit of fishing later. Who knows? We got a Talo, also made out of clay, just hanging out in the trees. Just, you know, looking for little worms. We've got another reverse here, a Skiddo, of course. We love Skiddo, also very good. It looks like a chalk drawing as well. Those thick outlines that I love so much. And our final rare of the day, is it gonna be super special awesome? Well, kind of. All right, we got a holographic Lugia. Not a secret rare, not a special rare, not an amazing rare, not a rainbow rare, but a holographic and a legendary. So we're gonna take it. Cool. And that was the Charizard and Pikachu tin for Sword and Shield. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I would love to do another tin like this. I know the place where I got this has a bunch of other ones in stock. So maybe we'll do a few more if you'd want. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed what you see. It really does help me out quite a lot. We're trying to really get this channel to go places. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it as well. And without further ado, I will see you guys again on Monday. My name is Vince Riley Pilgrim. Never ever forget to eat your greens. And of course, as always, stay fresh, cheese bags.